Hey everybody, it's Marvin here. I get asked a lot by business owners about uh, how should I be spending my days? <laughs> um, what's the ideal day like for a business owner or CEO of a company? Well, um, I think it's a simple way where we can look at it by looking at the definition of the role of the leader in that, you know, a leader needs to be able to lead people, right? We need to get a bunch of people to uh, a certain destination. They have to want to do it and they have to be able to do it. So we we need to first and foremost understand that, you know, we got to reach them at their heart to make sure that they have that desire. And then we manage them uh, in terms of running processes so that they can achieve the results that we all want to achieve. So um, put it another way, if we look at an organization as a living organism, you know, the two main important organs there would be the heart. And if we can get the heart pumping properly, we're going to be able to pump enough oxygen to the brain so that the brain can function and generate the results that we need. So in a business, the things that are in the heart would be things like communication, things like relationship, things like um, leadership and habits and behaviors. Um, or in other words, those would be things that are emotional right? Uh, on the brain side of things would be things like goals and strategy and KPIs and processes and rules or things that are logical. So how do we make sure that uh, we can fit this all in one week? Well, let's jump to me teaching people during a, a recent training that I did and uh, I'll see you at the end of the clip. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to look at is how Ideally, you can um, utilize your time so that you can achieve what you need to do as leaders to make sure that you engage the heart of your team and to also make sure that you get um, sort of the brain part of the business taken care of as well. So um, as you can see from this um, rectangles here, um, I've divided into three main um, slots and I'm going to divide it further into two particular section. So the first one would be sort of the green one here, which is the improvements time. So the way I see it, um, every quarter or when I work with my clients, we have a two month execution cycle. Every cycle, basically, we need to know that um, there are certain things that we're working on to improve our processes, creating new processes, recruiting new people. So some sort of improvements that we're generating. And we also have to use our time to take care of business, right? Or to do our day-to-day -day activities to make sure that we hit our KPIs. That would be the, the second block over here. And, uh, you know, sort of a general guideline that we normally use with um, the leaders that we work with is to spend around five-ish hours per week um, to make sure that they can work on these improvements that they're um, hoping to create in their business. Um, and then you got the day-to-day -day stuff. So you got about 35 hours again. And normally we would recommend them to split the 35 hours into two blocks again. And the first block is basically activities that will focus on the heart. And these are activities that we talked about in the leadership levers here, right? The key leadership actions that leaders need to take to make a big difference in the heart of that company. And again, we recommend that leaders allocate around, you know, four, four to five hours per week or, you know, about an hour a day or less um, to really focus on the heart just to make sure that it really beats nicely. The rest of the time can be focused on the brain, right? The rest of the time can be make, uh, focused on making sure that we achieve our numbers, that um, people are following our rules and processes and things like that. So um, my recommendation would be to make sure that you create your routine um, based on the leadership levers and allocate you know, four to five hours a week and to make sure that you regularly work on these things. So I hope that's been useful for you guys. Some few key things to remember is number one, really know your role as a leader that you know, we're here to lead people and manage processes. Number two, know the leadership variables, the key actions that leaders can take to generate the results that we want in our teams. 
Number three is to create the routines, right? So that you don't have to think twice about what I need to do when. Make sure that it's systemized and you just follow your routine because routines will set you free. And then we want to review and execute our routines uh, regularly to make sure that you get the results that you deserve. Thank you.